After the success of the movie Above the Law in cinemas, there was a real boom in Aikido in America. Steven realized that he would now be unable to work in film and school at the same time. Then he sold all his assets. The actor took a long, and painstakingly long time to choose the script for his second film, for he wanted to create something unique. That's how the movie Hard to Kill was born, in which a failed mafia hit attempt puts Seagal's character in a coma for seven years. After he wakes up, he regains his strength and goes for revenge. The success of the film was phenomenal, with Stephen waking up famous. From a budget of $10 million, just the U.S. box office brought in $50 million. If you factor in inflation, these days it would have been a movie with a budget of $23 million, which would have grossed just under $117 million. This was followed by two more films, Marked for Death and Out for Justice, which both gathered decent reviews from the box office.